Welcome back to the homestead everyone. Uh, in this video we're going to continue on building my little cabin. I'm going to need some place to live this winter. It's already, it's October 1st today and it's in the mid 30s the temperature right now this morning. Who can tell me what kind of berries these are? Leave it in the description. The gnome stutters there doing the stairs this morning. And laying out the stringers is a one man job and it just takes a long time to do it. A lot of this. Yeah. Because <laughs> you only want to measure three times and cut once. And unless you do it all the time, it takes a long time to do it. So he's been doing that. As you see, this has got one done and at least temporarily in place. And that's going to be the, uh, the steepness. And this one will go. Yeah. In there somewhere. Yep. Yeah. And uh, my steps are only going to be two feet wide because I just don't have the room for normal width stairs in here. They just come out way too far and take up half the living room. So they're only going to be two feet wide and a little bit on the steep side. But at least I'll have stairs and won't have to use a ladder. That's my primary goal was not to use a ladder. And then I also, this morning, uh, this stud was in and this stud was in, but these two in the plywood was not in. So I went ahead, made this, we got it in. It fit a little tight at the bottom and top, but we had to put this in because uh, right up there is going to be the ridge beam and it needs something solid to sit on. So I went ahead, filled this in and got that put in this morning also. And then did a little clean up and I ran in. Also, I went, up, went out to the hardware store and got my uh, Toyo stove. It's made for something like a 1500 square foot house, which this one, this is a 12 by 16. So it's way more than I need. But unfortunately right now in the state of Alaska, the size Toyo I need, there is not a single one for sale in the state of Alaska. So I had to go the next size bigger. Hey, it'll definitely keep this place warm this winter. And if it if it's, turns out just to be too much and I can't turn it down low enough, I'll have time to uh, wait on a smaller Toyo stove. And when, when one does come in and I can buy it, then I can just switch them out. So it'll be nice at least to have heat in here. What's happening today on the homestead and by the end of the day we should have a ridge beam up there and a new piece of equipment showing up on the homestead that I have never used before so stick around and see what it is who knows what this is leave your guess in the description it's growing on a cottonwood tree 
and it's black and kind of crumbly on the outside and then you can see it's real brown and you can see the size of it I just picked up the JLG 8042 telehandler. First time ever running a telehandler. This will come in extremely valuable to set the ridge beam. And then I did get the man basket with it. So when we're doing plywood, uh, we can use this to be inside nailing down the plywood or using it to get up on the roof easier and stuff like that. So. I'm excited. We're not quite ready to use it at the moment, so we're gonna get back to work and get everything ready to set the ridge beam. As you can see, we've got the second upright installed. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut this big beam to fit. We're cutting it down here at 272 inches. 22 foot 8 inches. Yeah, 22 foot 8, which is about right here. We still have to measure it. So we're going to cut it off about here. And that gives it a nice long beam. And with that, we're going to have a 16 inch overhang out the back and a 16 inch overhang out past the front of the porch with it. So we're going to go ahead and get that done and, right. and the goofy gnome there thinks he can just pick it up, throw it on his back and carry it up. But I have this right here to put it up there as a telehandler. So we're going to go ahead and try to get that done here this afternoon.
All right, we're up here getting ready to set some roof rafters. We got a ridge beam up yesterday. And uh, got four of the rafters cut here. And we're gonna pull this tarp back a little bit because it's raining a little bit. We don't want stuff to get wet. But uh, it's nice to have a dry workspace for sure. So we're gonna get you set up here and show you how we set roof rafters. Okay, we got the first four in. Two on that side, two on that side. And everything seems to be working and fitting beautifully. Nice and tight. Everything's laying out right. So, we have to cut a bunch more rafters and get them up. We'll get back to you. Alright, we got everything nice and straight now. Bill's gonna be up there working on the overhang. I'm gonna be down here cutting more roof rafters. Got my template laying right there. Just gonna mark each one of them out. Good to go. Okay, this morning's task. Framing in this back wall. We got a window that's gonna go there, and a window that's gonna go there. Two foot by three foot. All right, we got all this framed in here. We got a 24 by 36 inch opening. All the angles of our dangles are done. I got one stud I gotta move over, it got off center. But everything else is a-okay. Time to do the other side. Okay, there we go. Both windows are framed in. All our studs are in. We're good to go. And Bill's getting ladders set up so we can put the sheathing on the outside of this wall and button this sucker up. And I'm going to clean up all this mess because this is driving me crazy. Too much sawdust on the ground. 